Okay, Earth 101, it's uh, Tempt and Temptations, and get ready, Gary, Lisa, Sammy, and Timmy, are, and Don Grady is here. Yeah! How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Oh, I'm doing great. So good to meet you. Thank you. Well, you too. Got... Yeah, I finally saw the, you know, the face on the other side of the voice. I know it's frightening, but uh, you don't, don't burst. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's, it's <laughs> How come he looks almost exactly the same? I was going to say that. And I don't know if you realize this. There were three, I know you do, Don, but there were 380 episodes of My Three Sons. Wow! Now I'm getting old. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. How many I'm episodes? Tired. How many episodes did you guys uh, film a year of My Three Sons? Well, the first year in 1960, there was no limit. We did, in those days, we did a, 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 an episode every week. We did 48 episodes the first year. How did you get cast in this show? And and what it was, was that experience freak. like? It was a freak thing that happened to me because the, I'm not the original Robbie. You are not. Oh, I did not at the know that. Well, yeah, get they, out there. Well, you're I the know. Real <laughs> well, <laughs> Robbie, please. Um, yeah, it was a, uh, it was a, another guy, and I don't know what happened, but uh, Fred McMurray didn't like him. Uh huh. We didn't feel he fit into the family. And Fred was a big star already. Yeah, the, he was know. a big movie star at the yeah. time. Yeah. So they, you know, I had just lost. I was like a kid drama actor at the time, and I had right. just lost the my, what I thought was the great part on Laramie, which was the first oh, one hour. Oh, that was a great show. Western. Yeah. yeah. And I'd lost that part to Bobby Crawford, who's a great oh, actor. Sure. And and I got called in a, a couple weeks later. I got called in from school in the afternoon. Go in and meet the the casting director. And I was I met him for ten minutes. I went back to school. I came back at, at the end of school at three o'clock and found out I had a major series with Fred McMurray. Dude, you're a TV star right there. Mm. So that was, you know, wow. that's how that happened. Well, now you decided to do something called Boomer. Yes. And because? Well, because I, I've been a composer for 20 years. Now. Yeah, this is how you make your living. That's how I do my you know, bread and butter. And, right. uh, but about a year and a half, I'm, I'm always looking on the radio for something. I love oldies, I, you know, but mm -hmm. I don't really do, you know, I was looking for something that was uh, talking about the issues that I was having at 50. You know, we grew up in the 60s when music was, it talked to us, it mm -hmm. was everything we were. And music wasn't really talking to those issues of what I was having when in my 50s, you know, being sandwiched between kids on one side and, and older parents on the other taking right. care of, you know, that those kinds of things. So I started writing these songs and, and I, I call it Boomer and it's the first a CD is six songs, I'm gonna do three Three, uh, three, six song CDs. Actually, Donna's going to be doing a gig at. F is it called Fiame? Fiame in it's Thousand called. Oaks, and that is right there on Tio Boulevard. Right? Yeah, across yeah. from the Audison, right in, the, in that mall there. Fiame. Okay. And it's this Thursday and next Thursday at 7:30 each night. By the way, an original Mouseketeer. Really? Who's the leader of the club that's made for you and me? In my in the Annette, in the Annette -E Yes, yes, in the Annette Funicello days. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. And then, yeah. so I was just asking him, he met his wife at Disneyland, and I said, well, how did that happen? He said, well, I was the original Mouseketeer. Well, yes, but my wife is 13 years younger, so it was a lot later, and I was I was doing a show for Disney, she was doing a show for Disney, we met wow. we met on the stage. Oh, Isn't nice. that great? Well, our first date, we were tap dancing. It is the happiest place. <laughs> you at, were at tap Griffith <laughs> Park Observatory. We had a tap dance, a tap off, you know, and I uh, knew she was my girl from then on. Aww. That's cool, man. Ginny. Don Grady, the uh, CD is called Jazz Rock Pop, and uh, and the experience is called Boomer. DonGrady.com and Fiame is the restaurant in Thousand Oaks. It's F I A M M E on Teal Boulevard. One show Thursday night, 7 30. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be out. All right, great, great. Now, K Earth 101.